The Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that 25,000 residential fires every year are connected to the use of space heaters, and sadly, those fires lead to more than 300 deaths each year. On top of that, about 6,000 people are treated at emergency rooms for burns caused by those heaters. Uh, if you have to use them, the key is to use them properly. And so we're talking about that today because there may be some little things that you're doing that aren't quite right if you have a space heater. We're joined right now by Grand Prairie Fire Chief Robert Fight to talk a little bit about this. Uh, you've brought on uh, an example of a, a newer model uh, space heater here. You've been to plenty of, uh, of house fires that have been caused by these. Without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, again, thank you for having me. And as Fire Chief, this is a very timely story. You know, mm -hmm. we heard Colleen's forecast of the Arctic plunge coming in and this is when everybody will start using these so thank you for having me. You know sometimes people will supplement to even if they have central heating in the house they'll supplement with one of these. Uh, the problem is they might stick them in a bedroom where they're going to go to sleep. Yes. You never want to leave one of these things going when it's not being sort of watched over right. by some, an adult who's right. awake. Yeah unattended is the word we don't like. They need to be attended by an adult and there's a three feet safety rule, mm -hmm. clothing, bedding, towels, be uh, everything. Mm -hmm. Nothing should be within three feet mm -hmm. and it should be attended at all times. Uh, this one does something kind of interesting. Uh, it, it'll let you know if it has uh, fallen over. Yeah, this is a parabolic space heater, very popular out there, very safe, mm -hmm. uh, but just example, just the tilt on it, it will let you know. So any, any safety feature of falling over, or anything like that, it'll let you know. Sort of that turn off feature, a lot of them have that as well when they uh, get knocked over, get knocked they'll over. automatically right. uh, turn off right. again. Uh, you know, a lot of people I think, uh, they tend to feel like, you know, everything is fine because they've got a relatively new space heater, uh, but that's not always the case because even a brand new one can still be a fire hazard. Right, the space heaters really aren't the cause of the fire, it's usually the human element hmm. of the clothing, the towels. You can see, you can actually stick your finger in here where, right. where kids could get in jeopardy. So these things are relatively safe. Mm -hmm. They're used all over the place, but it's the human side that we're trying to educate on the three foot rule, don't use extension cords, keep them attended, and then we won't have stories like you had yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, and, and, and we have some tips here. Uh, as you mentioned, the three feet rule there, uh, the tip over switch. Uh, this is a biggie here, the, the level surface issue, because, uh, you know, I've seen these things, you know, propped up on furniture, right. uh, put yeah, onto a carpeted floor, right. uh, for instance. I mean, even this sitting on a table, it's on a piece of furniture. Right. Uh, you want to be really careful about the surface where yes. you put one of these. And the reason the level is, any tilting, it has a subject to falling over. Mm -hmm. Not all of them will have the automatic kill switch if it's an older model. Mm -hmm. So that is why you've got to have it on a, a level surface. And it's also why you have to be really careful about leaving the room if you have pets and children because children. that's a, uh, almost the easiest way for one right. of these things Without to get doubt. knocked over. Without a doubt. Uh, well, hopefully you don't see too many of these uh, this year uh, because you say that every year, when, every year when winter comes around, you see this. This is the season. Uh, so be extra careful with these, especially as you uh, go into these next few days, which are expected to be pretty frigid, especially over the weekend. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Fire Chief uh, Robert Fight uh, from Grand Prairie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's uh, take a look at this now. If you do have a space heater, uh, we want you to know this. Uh, one more look at the best guidelines for space heaters. Three feet away, you don't want to put anything around that space heater. You want to find the one that has a tip over switch that'll make a noise like the one we have here, or it'll just automatically shut off. Be sure to put them on a level surface and no extension cords. They draw a lot of power and uh, Chief Fight here was telling us that you want to make sure that they plug right into the wall.